Welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of Quintic Equation Challenges. Here we are going to solve one very interesting equation x power 5 minus 1 equal to x times x cube minus 1. I will showcase two approaches actually. First one using algebra and algebraic properties, identities, formulas and second one I will use complex number, unit circle. So let's get started. Simply by observing this equation, you can conclude one solution through by inspection. So that is x equal to 1. So let's find out the remaining four solutions. I will write our equation as x power 5 minus 1 equal to x power 4 minus x. Okay, let's take all the term to left. x power 5 minus x power 4 plus x minus 1 equal to 0. Now from first two term, I will consider x power 4 common. So x minus 1. From last two term, I will take 1 common. So x minus 1. So I can see x minus 1 is completely I can take common. So it would be left with x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. Now we know that if f dot g equal to 0 then we can write either f equal to 0 or g equal to 0 same job i will do x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0 so there are two equations from here we will get five solutions c1 is quartic so four solution one is linear so one solution so if i will put this equal to 0 x will come out 1 that solution which we concluded by inspection. Now come to x power 4 plus 1. This I will solve using two methods. First is using algebra and second using complex number. So let us consider using algebra first. So I will write x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. I will add 2x square and I will subtract also because I am adding plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can consider x power 4 plus 2x square plus 1 in one bracket and minus 2x square in other bracket. So first bracket is x square plus 1 whole square. Is it? x square plus 1 whole square. Check x square whole square x power 4 1 whole square 1 2 times a b so 2 x square so yes it is correct minus 2 x square is equal to 0 let me write here plus 1 whole square and minus 2 x square i will write root 2 x whole square because i can see the difference of square identity will factorize this quartic equation into two biquadratics. So I can write a plus b, a minus b. So I can write a plus b. So let me write x square plus 1 plus root 2x. x is outside the square root. And second bracket I will write x square plus 1 minus square root 2x equal to 0. Let us arrange in the proper order so that Sridharachar formula we can apply easily. x square minus square root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's consider the first quadratic. So I can write x square plus square root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. And second x square minus square root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So let's apply quadratic formula. Sridharachar minus b. So minus square root 2 plus minus square root b square. So 2 minus 4ac. So minus 4 over 2a minus square root 2 plus minus. It is square root of minus 2. So that minus will come out as i. And inside there would be square root 2 over 2. 
okay this two i can write this two i can write root two times root two now divide numerator denominator with root two so i will be having minus one plus minus i divided by root two two solutions complex let's consider the second equation so x is equal to minus b so root 2 plus minus square root 2 minus 4 divided by 2a so equal to root 2 plus minus i root 2 over 2 so conclusion is 1 plus minus i divided by root 2 again we are having two complex solution so overall 4 this is how we can conclude now let's see the complex solution how we can use complex numbers x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0 euler's identity and de movie's theorem unit circle also see i can write x power 4 is equal to minus 1 now cube root of means fourth root of unity that concept i will use now how you, i will use Euler's identity to write minus 1 it is e raised to the power i pi for principal solution for general solution i need to add 2k pi so i can write x power 4 is equal to e raised to the power i pi plus 2k pi for general solution number of revolutions because both functions sine and cosine are periodic with period 2 pi k belongs to z now i will raise both side 4 1 fourth power so x will become equal to i let's take pi common i pi over 4 after taking fourth root both side so i will have 1 plus 2k where k will be integer 0 1 2 3 so if i will put k equal to 0 let me write here k equal to 0 I will collect x0 which will be e raised to the power i pi over 4 okay x1 by putting k equal to 1 I will be having e raised to the power i 3 pi over 4 by putting k equal to 2 I will have x2 e raised to the power i 5 pi over 4 and last value last solution I will get by putting k equal to 3 our solution will come out 7 pi over 4 and if you will conclude then you can write all the four values but i want to show you unit circle see the arguments are straight away clear let me change this color so that you can understand pi by 4 let me consider the unit circle so See this is x0 and you can see the argument is pi by 4 theta. If you will see the second argument it is 3 pi over 4 which will be here in the second quadrant. So I will consider this is my x1 and argument is 3 pi over 4. Similarly I will write the opposite of x0 in the third quadrant it would be x2 argument with 5 pi over 4 and next we will write 7 pi over 4 and this value would be symmetricity i want to show you so x naught if i will write this value so 1 plus i over root 2 cos and sine 45 both values are 1 over root 2 so x naught is 1 by root 2 plus i by root 2 so i can right here 1 plus i over root 2 so this value will be in the second quadrant x would be negative y would be positive third quadrant both values will be negative in fourth quadrant x positive y coordinate will be negative this is how we can find out our solution see this is imaginary real everything is as it is so i can write e raised to the power i 3 pi over 4 that is second quadrant value so i can write minus 1 plus i over root 2 third quadrant value 
minus i over root 2, fourth quadrant value, 1 minus i over root 2. See, these are our final solutions. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.